Hey, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Goldie with Goldie Smell Good. If you're new to my channel, it's all about fragrance and fashion and everything in between. You did. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as this does help with my visibility across this platform. You dig? Got a very special video today. I have my top five rose fragrances in my collection, guys. And it took me a minute to warm up the rose. Okay, I wouldn't say I love rose, but I do like it. And I really think where rose works its magic is in the air. I really believe that, you feel me? But these are the five I have, top five rose fragrances, okay? Or with the note of rose, because the first two I'm gonna mention, I can tell you, I don't get the rose on it. I've heard other reviewers say they get it. I personally don't get the rose on it. But that's the beautiful thing about this passion. Nobody's right or wrong. We're all gonna pick up different things, different notes, different tastes, you feel me? But we all gonna get to smell good, you feel me? And oh, let me start with the outfit of the day first. We have the black Kango. We have the signature blue frames. We have the black suit coat, the black and gray tie, the black and gray pocket square. We have the gold tie bar with the stones on it, baby. You feel me? The gold watch, the gold ring, the gold bracelet, the gold belt buckle, black belt, dark wash jeans, and zip boots. You feel me? Tough. I mean, really tough, man. And when you're wearing a rose fragrance, guys, I agree with a lot of the reviewers. It is more of a dressier style uh, attire fragrance. Of course, you can dress it down, but I get where people come from when they say dress up their rose. Now, two honorable mentions I want to mention. I got my nose on that Moschino Toy Boy, the black teddy bear. Say, man, that is one of the most masculine roses I've got my nose on. As it's marketed to men, it's not a unisex fragrance, so they, they did that. To me, the rose is in the background, which I think is perfect for guys. If you want to start out getting into rose, start out with Moschino Toy Boy. Another rose uh, fragrance that, that to me doesn't lean feminine is uh, Armand Shades Wood. I had that and got rid of it. It was a beautiful rose to me, but it's like rose with some cumin, like some spices and some woods, okay? So I wouldn't say, you know, it's a funky, because it got some mood in there. It wasn't funky, ooh, to me, but it was a, the rose was more masculine, maybe with the oud and the spices wrapped around that rose, it w what made it masculine to me. But that's another masculine rose. You guys can start with to start your collection, okay? Two honorable mentions. That is Machino Toy Boy and also a Moth Shades Wood. Another one. And I should have kept this one. This one pulled a compliment, man. Listen, uh, Alexandria Nostalgia. That's their inspiration on Oud Satin Mood. That fragrance had one of the most beautiful mid notes. It's some type of vanilla or something in that mid that was gorgeous. And it transported me, guys. I'm not easily transported. Really only three fragrances that transported me. Jacques Fop Pour On, that mid note, and that nostalgia. And the most recent fragrance I got my nose on from the house of uh, Tiziano Terenzi, Draco, that peach note, in the mid, I love the note of peach, which you don't see a lot, quite naturally, in men's fragrances. But I love the note of peach. When that peach note came up in the mid, and I just had it you know, on my hand as a little sample, your boy was transported. You feel me? Your boy, had it on paper, your boy was transported, okay, by that peach note. I think I had it on skin and paper. But anyway. That peach note kicked in, 
and your boy was transported to another dimension. But I'm back, baby. All right. The first one from the house of Swiss Arabian, Shagaf Oud. Okay. Now, I've heard reviewers say they got, they get rose on this. It's a stretch for me, but again, no one's right or wrong. I get mostly oud, oud, and leather. This is great for the fall and winter. Beastly performance, guys. Three sprays all day. Five sprays three days. Believe that. Swiss Arabian, Shagaf oud. But it does have rose in here. It's a rose oud combo, right? Next. From the house of Latafa, oud. Mood. Now, guys, this is a fragrance I recently talked about in my cheapy but goody video, and it is a cheapy but goody, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! Listen. Oh, that's good, man. Incense, floral, a little sweetness. It has rose in there, but I don't really get it. But if you look at the note breakdown, it does have rose, okay? And that's what this video is about. Fragrances with the note of rose, okay? Next, from the house of Rasasi, Kasamat Morhaf, okay? I love this little fragrance, guys. This is a beastly rose fragrance. Again, three sprays all day. Five sprays, three days. Rose, ooh, amber, vanilla, guys. If you like rose, I would say go for this. 50 bucks, good quality for an affordable fragrance, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I almost wore this stuff today, too. And this one, guys, you can actually wear this one, in my opinion, in the high heat, okay? Uh, it's compared to Armani Privé Rose DRB, okay? And this is from the house of Rasasi Kasamat Morhaf, all right? Next, one of my new favorites, guys, okay? And this is from the house of Abbasan Rose and, hold up. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> Rose and geranium. Listen, I'll put the names in there, man, at the video. You feel me? Rose and geranium, guys. This is a beautiful, gorgeous fragrance. When I wear these, all of these, they call me Rose Gold. Believe that, baby. Rose Gold. It's a beautiful fragrance, guys. I remember this fragrance when it dries down, it just gets better and better. And there's a slight sweetness that comes up. Not a sugary sweet, not a gourmand sweet, but there's a sweetness that comes up, which is a dream. This fragrance brings a smile to my fragrance, uh, face. Guys, this should have been on my cheapy but goodies, man. It's gonna make it the round two. You feel me? 15 bucks for an Oda. That's pretty incredible. Last, <laughs> and maybe least, because I probably wore this maybe one time, maybe two. You feel me? Guys, and this is a pure, pure, pure rose. I'm talking about rose out the garden, man. I'm talking about you go outside and grab the rose out the garden, man. All right. From the house of the perfumers workshop. T Rose. Guys, this is just a pure rose. That boy Jeremy Fragrance made me buy it, man. For 10 bucks though, hey man, I can't complain about that. You know, it's just it's just a little, of course, and, and I ain't gonna lie, this is marketed towards women, so quite naturally, it's it's feminine leaning, okay? It ain't, it ain't leaning, it's feminine. But it smells like a pure rose. It's just a pure rose. You feel me? Ladies, if you're watching, I think you'll like this one, okay? If you like rose, 
The quality is good. Ten bucks. I say go for it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Alright, guys. Those are my five fragrances with the note of rose. I really appreciate y'all rocking with me. Thank you for all my new subscribers, man. Thank you for checking me out, sharing the comment. You know, you feel me? Subscribing, hitting that like button. You feel me? Straight up, man. But guys, always, and I do mean always, look good, feel good, smell good, stay humble, and stack your paper, man. Stack your chips, man. Thanks again, guys. Remember, stay sharp, stay clean, stay fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the gold he is. Believe that. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.